thank you. Um, and uh, I have to tell you, it's such a pleasure to be here. Um, in my earlier life, before I went to work for Audubon, I was a vice president at Zoo New England. So I have, and I went to Boston University. So I have a great connection to Massachusetts, although not this end of the state. But I'm very pleased to be here. Now, I had the privilege of just a few minutes ago being able to go up and walk through the exhibit. If you haven't, it is fabulous. It's one of the best Audubon exhibits that I've ever seen. And I, uh, my hat's off to the staff who put it together. And what strikes me about it is that it talks about Audubon and talks about birds and art. And I think the way that Audubon would want it to be told. So we're going to kind of go through a little bit more about Mill Grove and the, and the legacy and hopefully give you some more information that may help make this exhibit even more um, interesting to you as you go through it. His life was truly a soap opera and one of the th things that happens in his life is his father is, a, he and his father, they're living in France. Um, they've already lost a plantation that they own in Haiti because of the Haitian Revolt. Now the French Revolution is happening and Captain Audubon is trying to think ahead and say, if I got to get out of here the way I had to get out of Haiti, where am I going to go? And so he buys this property in Pennsylvania. And I'm going to say this and that's because it's my place and I work there and I have to promote it. But let me tell you, I believe and you will hear and read other people believe that this little place was as profoundly influential in the life of John James Audubon as uh, Walden's Pond was to Thoreau or the Mississippi wa River was to Twain. And in fact, uh, um, Thoreau would spend less time at Walden's Pond than did John James Audubon at Mill Grove. Now I say all this because Audubon, in fact, only spent about two years straight and then some more time at Mill Grove. But if we can go to the next slide, he would say, to me this would forever be a blessed spot.